In this video, we are gonna learn about the sprite stage, sprite pan, backdrop, ribbon bar, code tab which includes block palette and code area, costumes or backdrops tab, sounds tab and backpack. Hello everyone, this is Surya Ramesh. Today we are going to learn Scratch user interface. This video will be a little longer because there are a lot of interesting things to learn. Let's get into the video. What is Scratch user interface? It is a place or an area where you can do the code and you can see your code in action. It is also known as interactive programming environment. And this user interface is designed to make coding easier for beginner programmers. Now let's get familiar with the Scratch user interface. So in this video, we are going to learn about the sprite stage, sprite pan, backdrop, ribbon bar, code tab which includes block palette and code area, costumes or backdrops tab, sounds tab and backpack. What is a sprite? Sprite is a graphical character or object. The default sprite of a Scratch user interface is the Scratch Cat, which means that when you open a new project, it will provide you the Scratch Cat as the default sprite without any script. Then there are four ways to add a sprite to your project. There will be a board. In this board, you can find four options. Those are upload button, you can upload a sprite from your computer. Surprise button. When you use this button, it will randomly give you a sprite. Paintbrush button. It will give you a blank sprite without any costume. Then the search button. Using this search button, you can choose any sprite from the sprite library. So you can either click on this button or you can click on this search button. Once you clicked on that, here you can see the sprite library. Here you have different categories of sprites so you can use any of these sprites to your project. The next option is paintbrush. When you click on this paintbrush you can see this is the empty sprite and there is no costume. So you can create your own sprite using this paintbrush option surprise option when you click on the surprise option each time it will give you a random sprite it is randomly picking the sprites when you click on this upload sprite button you can upload a character if you have it in your computer for example you can see here i have the dora picture here so i'm going to upload this dora into my project I can select this Dora and I can open it. Here you can see, now I got this Dora. Then what is stage? Stage is a place where you can see your project in action. What are the functions in stage area? This is the stage area. At the top left corner, it has a green flag. The green flag is to run the scripts, then the red button. This stop button will stop all the running scripts. You can see the state in three different sizes. There are three options here. The middle option is the default one, which is regular. Regular means normal mode. Normally, its size will be 480 pixels wide and 360 pixels tall. And the next one, the first option here is small screen layout. So the small screen layout is all the size of the normal mode which means it is 240 pixels wide and 180 pixels tall whenever you want to increase the space in code area you can use this small screen layout i'll show you how to do that and the next option is a full screen mode the last one so it will make the stage bigger that will fit to the screen now let's learn how we can use this option this is the stage you can see here we have the green flag and red button this is the small screen layout and this is the regular screen layout and this is full screen sprite pan it has two important parts the first one is current sprite info window so you can easily access the information of this current sprite now the current sprite is cat and the second part is sprite list this sprite list will have all the sprites that you have added into our project so by clicking on each thumbnail, you can easily access the sprite information and you have the option at the top right corner to delete a sprite. 
so below the stage this is the sprite pan here for this cat it has the name sprite one and its position is x0 y0 which means center of the stage and it is show enabled show and you can have you can use the hide option as well and this is the size you can decrease and increase the size and this is the direction you can change the direction of a sprite for example if i add one more sprite to the project for example i'll add this person you can see the person is here now the information is about this current sprite the current sprite is a very walking so it has all the information related to this current sprite and this option is to select a sprite backdrop is an image to change the look of the stage so there are again four ways to add a backdrop which is similar to sprite like you have the upload button and you have surprise button fine brush button and search button so you can see here again we have four options using this first search button you have different categories of backdrop you can use any of them and second one is fine brush it is the blank one so here you can create your own backdrop it can be anything so this is the blank one and the next one is here you have surprise so it will randomly choose a backdrop for you and then the last option is upload so you can see i have downloaded a backdrop from internet i can make use of this backdrop to my project here small what you can do is you can click on convert to vector then you can increase the size of this backdrop you can you have to choose the select tool and choose this background image and make it bigger that's it so these are the four ways that you can add the backdrop into your project next thing is ribbon bar what is ribbon bar this is the first section of the scratch user interface which is the blue bar at the top this is that blue bar so what are the things are there in this ribbon bar? The first one is the scratch logo, then the globe symbol, which is the language menu, then the file menu and edit menu, then tutorials option, then project name. In online editor, you will have few more options. So this is the ribbon bar at the top. The first one is scratch logo. This is language menu. Here you can find all the available languages. You can use any of this. But whenever you are opening a new project, the default language will be English. Then you have the file options. Here you can create a new project using this new option. Then you have an option to load from your computer. Which means if you have done any project in scratch and you have saved it to your computer means you can open it again. This is the option to save to your computer. You can add any block here. And you can simply save it using this save to your computer option and the next option is edit which is restore and turn on turbo mode what is restore why it hasn't enabled it because this restore option will help you to restore the last deleted item for example i have a code block for this cat move let me add one more block to this code which is forever and i'll add one more block which is when green flag clicked so mistakenly if i deleted this sprite means how can i restore it you can go here click on edit and you can restore the sprite you can see i got it back remember you can restore the last deleted item then the turbo mode using the turbo mode you can run the scripts as fast as possible than the normal execution the next option is tutorials this will teach you the very basic things to start with scratch then finally this is the project name you can erase it and you can type it first project that's it this is then code tab to write and run the scripts we will use this code tab this is the code tab it has two important parts the first one is block palette block palette means it will have the different color coded code blocks inside it we have different kind of block categories here from motion to my blocks and the next one is very important area is code area where if this is an empty space to do the code and you can easily drag the blocks from block palette and you can drop them and you can join them together to make a meaningful code. So this is the code area you can see. We can drag the blocks from here easily and we can 
put the blocks together to create a meaningful program that's it i can click on the screen flap so the cat is moving right then finally there is one more option which is add extension this is to add extra features to your project you can see here at the left bottom corner there is an option to add an extension so you can click on that you can find the different kind of extensions here then costumes or backdrops tab why we call it costumes or backdrops tab this is an image editor to view create and edit a sprite's costumes or a backdrop here is the costumes tab when you have selected enemy sprite you can see the costumes tab after the whole tab here you can edit the sprite then if you click on this backdrops stage you can see the costumes tab has changed to backdrops tab which means here you can do any change to your backdrop you can create your own backdrops here here you can see we have different parts in this costume tabs first one is costume name it is showing the costume name here then costume pan where all the sprites costumes are listed you can easily switch between the costumes of a sprite and this costume pan then the viewing area in this viewing area you can see the sprite you can edit it and you can create a new one then the tools different tools are available and finally the costumes library i'll show you to you if i select the sprite here is the costumes library if you go here you can see the different costumes of each sprite so you can choose different costume from here sound stuff it is a sound editor again you can view make and edit a sprites sound it has different parts sound name sound pan where you can see the sounds you can switch between them easily and this is the sound wave you can edit the sound here you have different tools as well and this is the sound library so you can choose different sounds here so this is the sound tab if you go here you have the sounds library here so you can choose any of the sounds from here backpack what is backpack using this you can store the sprites scripts sounds costumes or backdrops and you can easily transfer them from one project to another project it is only available in online editor not an offline editor so after storing those kind of items in backpack it will look like this you can see at the bottom we have sound costume and the backdrop sprite and script how can we so this is the scratch online editor if you scroll down you can see the backpack you have to click on it it is loading so you can see i have added a few things here i can easily delete it by right clicking on it let me choose a different sprite i'll choose this banana i can store it to the backpack you have to just drag it and drop it on the backpack you can see here is the button this way you can store different kind of items that's it we learn all the different parts of scratch user interface if you are new here please be sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and thank you so much everyone let's see in the next video